part of games I never seem to touch on is the smaller, more personal, intimate type of game. The free games in just a world that is pretty much represented by Itch.io these days. I thought a fun way to see more of these games would be by doing a small video each week-ish, with some recommendations from the world of small games. Games for many is the huge AAA space. I mean a lot of what I play falls into this or big indie at least. But there's a whole host of games full of personality crafted by individuals that want to express something digitally. A world I know nothing about. So let's jump into some smaller games. Feather Park really sums up how to make a micro game. It only takes a few minutes to play through and it's really this excellent sumptuous snack ready to just gobble up on your break. Taking place in a beautifully rendered feather park, you play a small feathered critter of sorts, given the option of several small mini games. With no tutorial, the game communicates each of these by using just a text box and a picture, letting you discover the solution through play. This communication is amazing, it's beautiful. It lets you figure out what's happening without ever having to fall back onto language. The music fits perfectly and everything is gorgeously rendered in pixel art. I would recommend this game to anyone who's looking to sit with something on their break to play. An average day at Cat Cafe. I've come across this type of game before, the whole grab together ingredients, mix them in a particular order at a workstation and then combine them into different recipes to create things for customers. I think they usually survive by adding more and more complicated mechanics, but an average day is an example of just like the baseline for one of these games. It has this cutesy art style that takes every opportunity for slight visual gags that feels very homely. You have several recipes that your extended clientele will come in for, each satisfying in how quickly you can actually whip up and make once you get this sense of familiarity with your workspace. There's enough here to sit in this homely cafe for a while, whilst seeing how it could easily be expanded. Something that there's a distinct possibility for as this game is being actively updated at the moment. I think this is an interesting part of smaller games, you know, people do tend to release something and work on it and craft it and work on it, getting to see much more of a process throughout. Again, it's a game that's perfect for a quick break away from the drudgery of life. We end today's video with possibly my favourite game of all three, Resonance of the Ocean. Apart from being a massive hazard to my spelling, this game encapsulates why I wanted to explore these game types more. It has a setting, theme and playtime all brilliantly brought together into a meaningful story. It's all done by just a few people and wraps up in half an hour maximum. The game is about being disconnected from one another, living on separate lands, not being able to communicate, but then still finding connection in music. But not any old music, music created by handmade items washed up onto your island. It strips the formal element of music away, bringing it down to the core of enjoying the sound as pure communication, all backed up with an art style that's completely delicious, simple and expertly crafted. This would be my hard recommend from today, especially for people who haven't played any small games. I think it perfectly encapsulates what it means to take a singular mechanic and then expand it into a narrative around it that actually compounds into something worthwhile. You see, aren't we all just playing our musical note out into the big blue ocean and hoping that it resonates with someone across on the other side? That's just communication after all. Thank you for watching this short exploration of some small games. If you have any recommendations then please send them my way. I'm really enjoying having a look at what is available. Thank you for watching. My name has been Billy. Goodbye.